Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. This is going to be my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode 12 video. Just careful for spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet. All I could think about at the end of this episode was Ward in the honey, which it looked like he was covered in honey, Winnie the Pooh, and the fact that he's kind of like the Queen Bee now of Hydra. The reason he keeps referring to himself as we is because Hive has a hive mind. You kind of get the idea. He has those spores that he infects people with. They seem to still have their free will, but his relationship to them is that of a Queen Bee to its worker bees. So Queen Bee turning bees into worker bees. And they actually did explain some of the mechanics behind it. I was actually really happy with the script this week. Very strong script. They did a good job of addressing some of the common weaknesses I see in scripts from other superhero TV shows. And I'll talk about it as I go along. Here we go. Top 5 WTF. And there are a bunch of Easter eggs. I'll talk about them on the way too. Number 5. Welcome back Absorbing Man. This is Crusher Creel from the comics. We haven't seen him since last season when he grabbed the obelisk and he did not die. So S.H.I.E.L.D. is really curious about that because anyone who doesn't have inhuman DNA and touch the obelisk vaporized on the spot. So why was he able to touch the obelisk if he's not an inhuman? Well, in the comics, there are mutants that undergo pterogenesis like Quicksilver. It takes their powers to crazy levels, but the way they explained it on the TV show had to do with the vaccine. So number four WTF. The adaptability of Crusher Creel's DNA makes it a perfect vaccine for those that have not undergone pterogenesis. So in the wrong hands, this could be used to inoculate people against pterogenesis. Oh, and I should mention, Crusher Creel Easter egg for Daredevil, which is dropping this Friday. During season one of Daredevil, Matt's father had to fight Crusher Creel in the boxing ring. That was the final fight that he was supposed to throw, but he ended up winning. Number three, WTF. Everybody is flipping sides. So they have the symposium, and a lot of the comedy was forgettable. Just making Talbot wear the dress, all this ridiculous stuff. But the really fun part was the way they played with your expectations as to what was really going on. Crusher and Talbot are the informants. They're working with Malik. But then, you know, twist, you learn that he is secretly keeping Talbot's son hostage. Twist back, and they're best of friends. So Talbot is back on Team Coulson. They tried to make him sympathetic this entire episode. Like, his wife is leaving him. He's like, oh, God, look, I gotta put up with this, and I gotta put up with Coulson on the same day. Then they blame his betrayal on what Malik was doing with his son. They just want you to think of the Talbot character as a good person, especially after last season when he and Coulson were butting heads so much. Number two, WTF. A lot of the world's governments are stockpiling inhumans the way you would stockpile nuclear warheads. So they're teasing an inhuman cold war. And what a coincidence that it's the Russians that's going to be stockpiling inhumans for Hydra. Without really knowing it, maybe. But it is a really nice reference to real world history in the cold war between the Soviet Union and America. Even though the Russian delegate is friends with Malik, the Russian doesn't seem like he's Hydra or have any idea about what Malik's plan is. And finally, number one WTF, this is so much fun. Hive jumps into the honeypot. So it ingests the rest of the humans that it needs to, five, like the five-headed Hydra, to become whole again. Totally love how these other two Inhumans just looked at each other like they were going to throw up in their mouths and then walked away before Hive started to feed like, oh Jesus. So you get the sense, like Lincoln had that speech at the end where he talked about the war inside his head. There's a war going on inside my head. I'm trying to figure my powers out. The same thing is happening inside these two Inhumans heads. And then I think what might end up happening later this season is that like Lincoln will be infected with Hive spores and he'll have to find a way to break that mental programming. But let me know in the comments. This is actually kind of funny. When you saw Hive in that pose, did you one, think Terminator because he was like in the Terminator Arnold Schwarzenegger pose or two, did you think he was just rolling around in honey? What's gonna happen next is, is I have a Flash video that I'm still working on. There's some new Spider-Man Civil War, so be sure to subscribe to get that stuff. My first Daredevil Season 2 episode video, like my Daredevil Episode 1 video, won't post till Friday, so that's still a little ways away. While you guys wait for my next video to post, you can click here for like the last big Daredevil trailer, and you can click here for my Black Panther Civil War video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five, I'll see you guys tonight.